Okay, this is such a long overdue project pen update. It's August 10th, so it's been almost five months, like four or five months. So it's definitely time to do another project pen update. And actually, I have so much progress to share with you. I'm actually pretty excited. Okay, first of all, Armani New Nude Melting Color Balm Cheek and Eyes. This one, actually, I have been using this pretty much daily at the beginning of this cycle. I mean, this cycle, I mean, you know, from the last update till right now. But recent one to two months, I have been working on another one that's also in this project that I will be talking about later. So I haven't been using this that much recently. And one thing about this, it's uh, between a powder and a puffy type of finish. So it's very hard to tell your progress. It's not like powder that you can immediately tell there is a dent if there is because it's 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 powder but at the same time it's not it's between a powder like and a puffy type of finish so it's hard to tell but in this crack i don't know if you can see i can see the pen through that crack so i'm thinking if i can be consistent with this one i might be able to heat pen at the end of this year We'll see, we'll see. This highlight has been into so many project pens of mine and I have been consistently trying to work uh, work on this and trying to finish this one. It's the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the Pearlized finish and this is the shade on the cusp. I think this is a collaboration uh, of ColourPop and Catherine Lights on YouTube. So this was like years, years ago. I don't think she has been doing collaborations with ColourPop ever since. I actually really like this, but I don't really use this one on my cheek that much um, anymore. I do love this as eyeshadow though. So, so today I was wearing this as an eyeshadow in the center of my eyelid and layer some glitter on top. Something about this formula on the eyes, it just looks so beautiful. It's such a smooth but glowy finish and adding some sparkle on top, it's just so beautiful. And I, I just absolutely love this finish, which I don't know if you can tell on the cam camera. But yeah, I really, really, really like this on the eyes. But the thing is, if you use as a eyeshadow, Pretty much what I have left with, it's probably more than one full size eyeshadow, right? So I'm not sure if I can actually finish this, but I will try. I will try. It's a good highlight. I don't want to declutter this. This one is the one with the biggest progress. It's RCMA Lip to Cheek Glow Quad. As you can see, I have finished two. These two are gone. I think this one was a blush and this one was highlight. Um, the blush was in the shade Spell and this highlight was in the shade Champagne Rosé Luminizer. And these two are gone, right? And this one was pretty much untouched. Um, now it's it's almost gone. I think giving me a week it could be gone. And the only thing left is this one, this reddish one. It's called Beloved. And this one... I don't know if you can tell from the footage, but it's almost having a dent because I've been using this daily. So I think for sure in the end of the year, I could finish this. And this is actually such a convenient compact. I think I'm going to save this compact and maybe, you know, unpause something here or, you know, dig out some a portion of some different um, product and melt it into here. I think it could be pretty convenient. And this melt highlight, again, I think this has been in so many, so many of my um, project pan. And you can see there is a little giant, a little giant, a hole in the in the middle. 
I don't know if I can call this a pen, but I think it, you can see the pen, so it counts. It's actually a bubble at the bottom, so it I probably hit pen earlier than I should because again, it was a bubble. Recently, I don't really use this highlight that much anymore. Again, when I'm using it, I'm using it as eyeshadow, so the progress is probably not as fast as it can be. But I think I already hit goal on this one, so I'm just happy that I can make any progress because my goal was to just hit pen. And the Kamek eyeshadow, I don't know, I need to see back on the footage, but I don't know if, how much progress I had on this because the majority of this last cycle, I wasn't using eyeshadow that much at all. A lot of times, my lid is just some blush brand on my eyelid and I might use like a highlight on the center or not and that's pretty much it so I wasn't using this one that much um, but I'm thinking right now I have slowly picking up the habit of using eyeshadow again in my daily routine so I think I could um, potentially maybe heat pan on another shade which is the only shade that hasn't heat pan on is this reddish shade and i don't really remember my my goal for this one but i don't think it's like to finish it because yeah like setting a goal to finish an eyeshadow is kind of crazy uh, but yeah this is actually like my favorite eyeshadow palette in the drugstore price range Again, there's one that has not too much of progress. It's this Lisa Eldridge lip gloss, lip gloss in the shade Muse. Um, I measure the weight of this one every time. So last time is 30.7 30.7, and this time is 29.7. So I used up one gram of product. Which, looking at this, it has 4.5 grams. So I guess it wasn't super bad, right? But if I di really did use this every day, I could have been finishing it. But because I have been trying a lot of lip tints and I have been using a lot of lip tints, so I wasn't um, concentrating on using this one. But if I try in the next couple months, I think I can finish this by the end of the year. The next one is another one that I had huge progress. This is the Dior one. You can just see this um, tally that I made. I think the last one was the biggest one that I ever had, right? I basically use this every time, almost every time I do my makeup. And there, therefore, that's why how big it is. So on this side, you wasn't, you wouldn't be able to see, but on this side, the the product has has all settled, and this is like the lowest point of it. Like you can kind of see the shadow of the tally on the other side. It's you know aligned with this lowest, you know, settled point <laughs> window. I don't know. And I can kind of see from this angle that it's really, really empty in there. So I think it might not even take a month to finish this because again, I was, I'm was i using this very consistently. And I'm planning, I'm planning on to have something else to fill in the, you know, to position this one once, once it's finished. Okay, and the last one is also one that I had <laughs> I had a lot of progress because I was using this every time I do my makeup. It's the RC RC RCMA no color powder. I basically deposited in this container. It's way easier than the original container. So last time the whole packaging, you know, the lids, everything included was 101.75 grams and now it's 96.35 grams which means I used up 5.4 5.4 grams of product I think that's almost a full size of normal like compact powder right 
a lot of smaller compact powders have five to eight grams and I think in the last um, couple months I did pretty well on this one well the thing is I don't know how many grams is left in here um, I don't want to pour all of it out that's gonna be messy it's still a lot of powder like as you can see but I, I think this is significantly less than in the you know at the beginning of the year so depending on my progress I think I could I don't know but I think I could finish this by the end of the year I'll try I'll try my best I, we still have five months so I think in five months I probably could finish it and I think it, there's probably around eight to ten grams in there which I don't know how accurate that number is but with the amount of powder that have I have owned and you know the variety of size that they have my my guessing is it's probably have it probably have around like eight grams in there um, which because the this month and the next month will be the hot weather therefore I will need more powder I think I can make more progress in this two months now is the ones that I have to update and there's a couple ones that I decluttered during the moving process because I just moved into a new, pra new place obviously and it was the um, First of all, the ColourPop lip pencil, I declare that one because I feel like I don't really use lip pencil that much, so it's gone right now. Dior setting spray, the Forever Perfect Fix setting spray. I used that one fully up, but I don't have the bottle, but I was going to save the bottle and show you, but when I was packing, um, basically, I store all of my empties in this little felt bin and I was going to save all the content in that bin and bring it here. But when I was looking at the bin, I found a dead body of a, a, of a roach. So I think it's only it only makes sense for me to immediately throw that whole bin away. I know it's a it's a waste of resource to, you know, like throw out the whole bin, you know, with the container. You can, I can just throw what's inside because it's garbage anyway, it's all um, empties. But yeah, I I decide to throw that whole bin away. Uh forgive me, but that's the only the only way that I am going to be able to handle it because it's too gross to use a bin that a roach has, you know, the, the a roach dead body has lived in. And again, because I think if it's plastic, I can kind of, you know, wipe it down and be okay with it. But the thing is, because it's felt, I think there's no way it's gonna be clean. And I don't want to throw it in washer, in other like, you know, clean clothes and things. So yeah, I throw that away so you won't see the uh, empty bottle. And I think that's it. I throw that too away. And there's a Eclipse Blur Powder Compact here. This one was, again, in that roach bin so I throw it away so I, I can't show you the empty compact compact and there's uh, a couple ones that I want to add uh, first is this Kosas foundation I just purchased this the last um, Black Friday I think and already it's about to um, expire the expire date is 2024 August which is this month I'm gonna. I'm not gonna throw this away when um, September come. Okay, but um, I think I, it's it's time to try to finish this. So I want to throw this in, but it's almost full, almost full. So I don't think I'm gonna finish this by the end of the year. But I just want to throw it in. And and another of uh, the Dior concealer, this one. Even though it has settled a little bit so I can see the progress, which is here. I mix this with this Dior concealer 
every day so that's why i have so much progress already and i also measured the weight of this one uh it was it was 23.73 grams let's see how it is the next time and then there is this tower 28 blush which this was in one of my previous project pan but this time i want to heat pan on it as you can see i already have a dent in it i want to try to heat pan and this is in the shade beach no golden hour um the the, the line was beach police but the shade is golden hour and I want to add on this Muji UV powder foundation. I just use this as like a setting powder. Um, and I want to finish, or not finish, like heat pan on this by the end of the year. I don't think this is gonna work well um, in this weather, but I think I want to um, work on that one in the when the weather is a little bit you know, colder. That's the update. I will either see you in the end of October or straight up just at the end of the year of the finale. I don't know. I will decide that based on my progress. If I have like a lot of progress, I might um, throw in another update at the end of August. Not August, um, October, like I said. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.